Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of the 2022 YZF R7 here that I have. i uh, show you guys kind of what modifications I've done to it. So we will start in the back here. I'm not gonna show you guys my license plate, but we do have the fender eliminator with the stock turn signals. Makes the, uh, makes the bike look a lot better. The stock one was absolutely hideous, in my opinion. Um, let's go over here. Also, the stock exhaust sounds like absolute shit on, um, yeah, the, the bike. Uh, definitely get that exhaust changed out. We've got a Yoshimura full exhaust system. It's the R77. So it is the full, the full system on this bad boy. Um, I'll power it up for you guys real quick so you can kind of hear how it sounds. I'm sure the, the GoPro is not going to do it justice, but... See if you guys can hear it at all. So this exhaust is loud as hell. I'm uh, I'm running it with the DB Killer out right now, so that probably doesn't help with the sound. But um, next we will go with tank grips, I guess. We got some tech spec tank grips on here. I uh, put these on a couple weeks ago. Absolutely loving them. We got them on there, the middle, and the left side as well. Um, yeah, love those. Highly recommend. We've got some Womatech uh, frame sliders here. These come in stock black, but you can get the rings in multiple colors. I wanted the blue, obviously to match the accent of everything else on this bike. I like these because on my Ninja 400, they stuck out really far. However, on this bike, they only come out about an inch past the sliders, or sorry, for, um, past the fairings. So I'm really liking those so far. We have also got, um, front sliders on this wheel as well on the front wheel i did have them on the rear however it was kind of a pain because every time i wanted to adjust the chain i would have to take these out so i took those out and just kept in some spool sliders so i'm able to keep that rear wheel off the ground for maintenance and all that good stuff um up here we've also got womatech uh bar ends these are nice too. These came in black. I have the blacks over there, but I also replaced it for blue. Kind of makes the bike look a lot nicer. Match the aesthetics. Um, also got a blue, I don't know what you want to call this, brake sock. Um, kind of cover up the brake fluid, makes it look a lot better up here. We've got a quad lock, which I'm absolutely loving. Let me uh, switch hands here. Turn it about 45 degrees. And, and it just clicks on there. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to it. But yeah, it clicks on there nice. No shake at all, and you can also flip it portrait. And you are all good. Still trying to get it down as far as getting it on and off, but. Go with up here we've got a i believe this is a specifically for an r7 but i've heard that you can use an r6 windscreen and it'll fit the same but this is an r7 bubble windscreen and dark smoke makes the bike look really nice a lot better than the stock uh, i also apologize because i know the lighting probably isn't the best in here probably can't see a whole bunch however i really like the look of the dark windscreen on this guy it just brings the whole bike together um I think that's pretty much it for all the modifications I've done to the R7. Oh, I've also, with this full exhaust, I do have it flashed. Um, I do have the ECU flashed, so it, it's it's a badass bike. It's a lot, it's very torquey, fun bike, especially if you're into wheelies, that's what I'm practicing. But ECU's under here, I sent that into Two Wheel Dyno Works, told them that I had the R77 full exhaust system, and they took care of the rest for me and knew what flash to do and all that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, 
let me know in the comments. And I'm sorry the uh, the writing video is not that good. I've tried to hook up a purple panda mic on the inside so I can give you guys some quality content and talk to you guys, but I can't get it working for the life of me. Um, shout out to Bomb Gardener for helping. Um, I just couldn't get it going. Also, go over to his channel, check him out. He just had a wreck a little bit ago. Uh, go send him some some good vibe messages or something along those lines. But I'm gonna end this video. I'm probably gonna go take this bike out for a little bit of spin before the weather gets too bad. But I appreciate you guys watching and every, all the support on the channel in this past month, month and a half. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your night.